Yo, another round of that tournament. We're gonna be playing against Snow. Good old Snow. Hopefully, we'll go. Hopefully, this game will go decent. I am frankly pretty exhausted by this point, but I'll do my best. I'll try to actually get this game. It's a very hard matchup, though. As you notice there, there's a screens, there's a salt vest, there's snarl. Like, uh, a lot of those things are not very pleasant for me to deal with. But I do think I just have to go fair draft regardless. I have to go my options. I can't really adjust here. I don't have the leverage to, unfortunately. They also are Terra Grass on Arcanine, which is another option that can prove problematic. But again, I really don't think I have a great option around it. I'm just going to go Micro Flutter. It feels so weird to leave your fire types at home in this matchup, but honestly, I feel like it might be necessary. There's a lot of Terra Waters here. They have Aka on Snow. Like, Arcanine is very much going to be the lead, so... Oh, I guess they have weak armor, actually. If they have weak armor, I could probably go... Yeah, I could actually probably go Moth lead instead of Brute. And go, like, Flutter, Murkrow back. Only because they're weak armor. Is that option even choosable? Because I can go Terrify or Heat Wave. I can, I can Terrify or Heat Wave plus Hyper Voice, and that should be able to KO Choice Specs Iron Bundle, and they shouldn't be able to get like a flip turn off or anything either, so... I think that's really like my best option. Of course, I do think they lead Arcanine no matter what here, which sucks. But... Oh no, never mind. <laughs> I was wrong. So yeah, I'm gonna go Terrify or uh, Heat Wave, and I'm just gonna go Hyper Voice. I'm pretty sure that'll just win me the game. I do need to hit the heat wave though. That is the one asterisk. If I miss my heat wave, that sucks. Pretty bad. But overall, this seems like a very good scenario for me. Again, if I KO bundle, I'm pretty sure it's good. It's gotta KO the bundle. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, they withdraw the bundle, that's fine. Probably to Arcanine here. It's probably Arcanine Protect. If I, oh no, it's Indeedee. That's fine to you. Probably looking for Expanding Force. I don't think Expanding Force KOs though without the Weakness Policy proc. So I, I, I believe on the next turn I can just Terrify or Heat Wave again and go Hyper Voice since it's going to be game. So I believe this scenario is actually working out way better than I expected just because of the uh, fact they're weak armor. Their flat fire this game becomes a lot scarier very quickly. No misses. Perfect. I want to see if the armor rogue is faster or not now to you. Yeah, we get the burn. It's nice. Yeah, they are faster. Do they KO though? No worry. Crit. Ah, uh, crit. Annoying crit. Very annoying crit. I can go Murkrow now though. I do get my throat spray too. So it should be Tail and Hyper Voice. I don't think they have an out around that. If they withdraw all that's fine, they're just giving me chip damage. Yida? Who's Yida? Snow, okay. That's Yida, I see. If they protect, that's perfect for me, because now I just get a hyper voice off on the snow. We know switch outs. I'll see the chip damage on here too, which is important. They have no wide guard either. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, this hyper voice again. Well, for foul play on snow, because they don't want protect. They can't ice shard me or anything. This is game. So 
this is a simple game. Come on, man. There's no out because they switch, they die, and they stay and they're dead too, so. And I have the tail one up, so we're guaranteed faster. They can look for hype. Ooh. That was a good play, actually. That was a good play. I forgot about that option. I did forget about that self ice shard option. Good armor cannon. Good play. Now, here's the thing of why this doesn't work, though. Did I go flutter? This doesn't work. That was a good play. I forgot that was an option. <laughs> I should have always foul played the armor oak there, but I didn't consider the side arch ice shard for the weak armor proc. They have to do it again here. They do have to do it again. But I don't even think that will be enough. Okay, well, quick sunny day though. Okay, they withdraw. We win. Perfect. The double KO. That was a bit scarier than I would have liked. To be honest, but yeah, now I remember Ice Shard. They do have Ice Shard on Abomasil for Self Rock as well, and I have to keep that in mind for game two. But I don't think they can overcome Dazzle Foul Play, so. Game is still done. Do you bring the bot? Yeah, this is Dazzle. This is Foul Play. Admittedly, this was a lot closer than I thought it was, though, by turn two. <laughs> I thought it was, like, over, over. It was still kind of over, though, but... They don't KO the Flutter. Terra. Terra Ice Protect, and then they target... my Flutter. Oh no, no protect. But yeah, we KO, KO off foul play here. It was fine. Yep. Oof. I'm so glad they're weak armor. This makes this so much easier on me. Like, weak armor means they're the ones who have to, like make a lot more moves. <laughs> I really don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I think the same game plan works as Fair Giraffe and then Moth. And I, I, if they show like in DD Armor Oak, I might even show in Prison. Potentially. Yeah, I, I could show in Prison. And we just go Murkrow, Flutter me in the back. Murkrow is important because I can Sunny Day boost my Flutter main faster than uh, the weak armor stuff and I can boost it to be faster than Iron Bundle and also Tailwind does that too. So there's a lot of ways just to make myself faster here and I also boost uh, Moth if Moth needs the boost. Gets rid of snow. Like, there's a lot of little things Murkrow does here that are convenient. Yeah, we just keep it the same matchup. This is a must win for both of us here too. We both have the worst resistances out of the X1s. So if either of us uh, lose with this out of top cut. 100% of the time. Uh, it was still a tough pill to swallow for me mentally, but uh, it's fine, it's fine. Hey, maybe if he beats me, it'll give me better resistance for like the X2, you know? But <laughs> it's not going to help much. Unless I get like really lucky of who the X2s are that win, but 
Regardless, we're not going to lose anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, they show Armor Rogue and DD this time. That's pretty good for me. I can go Terrify or Heat Wave, and I can go Imprison. I can also show Hyper Voice here. A lot of options. I will just show Terrify or Heat Wave Imprison, though. Yeah, showing this option game too makes sense, in general. They might just go aggro and press buttons, but... I just like showing this in a game 2 scenario. Especially when I showed all my offensive bonds. I have to prove that I'm willing to click it into a game 3 if I... So I can like mind game and not click it. <laughs> I have to prove I'm willing. And yeah, they probably can. I kind of expected it, but... Expanding. KO, no crit that's needed, needed this time. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't worth it. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't worth it. I still feel like I had to show it this for a game 3 scenario where they actually want a quick trick room. Eh. It wasn't worth. Do have the quick tail and hyper voice here. That's okay, is everything now. Hopefully. I guess except the bomb was no. Oh, I guess they can't show Trick Room. I just thought about it. They can't show Trick Room because I just have Hyper Voice. And they're give free chip on me every turn. Oh, this works. They don't get a KO now. Okay, I show su Sunny Day here so they have a chance of missing Blizzard. And they lose their any like Oravel proc potential. Okay. Expected. Could be an energy ball. Ooh. Big miss KO. Dude, they hit the blizzard though. They miss. Perfect. That's why the sunny day play was so good. Realistically, I want off foul play there too, but... My Murkrow's faster, so if they quick follow me, then, you know, they just get a free Blizzard off, and that's kind of bad still. But I guess I probably could have showed Foul Plague. I think they're a bulkier Obama Snow. Yeah, they're probably bulkier Obama, so they probably don't KO either. Well, I guess that was kind of a mistake on my part still. <laughs> that was kind of a mistake. Let's think. I think I have to show spec Shadow Ball here. Yeah. Oh, they switched. Okay. Protect. I'd high key up prefer to avoid KOing here. Come on, bundle, be goaded. Yes! 
Okay, Puh. Thank you, bundle. <laughs> Thank you, bundle, man. Oh my god. I guess it didn't really matter. Uh, it didn't really matter because they would have to double protect and they don't live any regardless, but... Yeah, it didn't really matter, but... I wish it did. That would be so much cooler. Yeah, I Shadow Ball Hyper Voice here. They don't have a priority attack, so I don't have anything to worry about. I outspeed both because of the tailwind. So yeah, we won. We won. Yeah, they show their Terra now. They're grass, so it doesn't really matter though. Oh yeah, the Terra bundle is fair. Max speed fair giraffe, man. Oh, I guess I'm 236 actually for 110. But... Yeah, they go for the double, doesn't matter. As we get it. Let's go. I believe Psychic Terrain wears off there anyways. So even if they get the double right, then they can't target both. That's enough for me to win. Yep. But yeah, that game was 100% locked up. No way they could win at that point. Jeez. Yeah, GG is a pure neutral. Fun set, fun set. There's no way I can lose the snow though. I will remain my- I have to defend my throne as this true snow player. Even when I'm not playing snow. So I cannot lose to them. That was a good game. It was pretty fun. Bit dominant, but... That's what those kind of matchups are. It really just shows like how valuable flash fire is. Like if I was flash fire, that would have been like really a, a different game, right? If it was flash fire. But ultimately they weren't, so you know, <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it.